I'm going to start out this next segment with some good news for me, anyway. The instructions for the ship have you take this piece of balsa wood that's a half inch uh, square, pretty much, and place it on the back of the ship and here, just above the windows for the captain's quarters, and then it has you sand this down and make it rounded, round it off. I didn't think that looked that great, and I realized, why couldn't I just use quarter round? And then, when I was at Menards, checking it out, I found some of this material. It's got some engraving on it. There are several different types or patterns, and um, I decided that would look much better. And they were less than $3 each. I cut, I believe, 45 degree angles. And these will fit very nicely. And give a very nice finish look to the back of the ship. I have that trim piece put in place. Now it's stained. I think you will agree that looks fantastic. Next, I think I'm ready to put the edge on here. And this was a little bit easier. Finally, the instructions are going to make some sense. So this is page 7 out of the Word documents. And it starts showing A1. So I have a whole compartment. Thankfully, remember... I made all these drawers. Well, here's A1 through 20. And all of these parts. Here's part number one. And I know from the drawing, it goes right here on the front of the ship. Right like that. And these, actually that needs turned over because there's a chip out of that. And these parts, like similar to this, We'll go all the way around the upper perimeter of the ship. Now I do have one more step to take. I need to put another small piece of plank here and then sand all of these so they are level. And each one of those will have that edging put on there. So let me get busy on finishing that planking, getting that sounded smooth, and installing parts A1 through 20, I believe. I'm in the process of getting this top ledge even. I've put the planking both on the inside and the outside edge and instead of sanding all this down I'm taking my uh, X-Acto knife and I can just shear this off and get closer to the center uh, part that was the ship's frame. Just taking off a small amount with each pass. Oops, and that's that's what I run the risk of. There's a little piece right here, real tiny, and I just popped it off. I can just glue it back on, but I'm also going to take these clamps off. I glued some small inside pieces here, and I'll trim those off and then sand that to match that shape. But now I can reach this a little better. And now use, you know, what other me method of sanding. These are kind of getting worn out, but they work pretty good. And I'll just continue to sand until that's perfectly flat. And then that little cap piece will go on. Not sure if I mentioned, but on the front of the ship, this part, it was a little higher on one side than the other. So what I've, been, what I've done is just sanded it until both ends pretty much match up. This has a little bit of a bow to it but the piece that goes on there can bow, so. So that's pretty good. 
I pretty much have it sanded as much as I think I'm going to. And the thing's nice about this grade of ship being a pirate ship, it can be a little rough, so uh, I'm fine with that. So I'm going to go ahead and put some stain on it, and that should bring it back to life. We'll see how it looks. Be very generous with it, and then I'll come back in about five minutes, ten minutes or so, and wipe it all off. If you haven't been following along, the outer skin is uh, walnut, and the stain I've chosen is mahogany. Here's the look after I stained it. I do like the different colors. I do like the dark that it is. After all, it's the black pearl. With the help of my son, I built a stand for the ship. I'll cover where the screws are with pieces of felt. Eventually I'll stain this and I'm going to engrave something about it on the bottom of that. And it will sit like that. You can see I've got the coat of stain on it. I still have some place to do inside the windows. I want to reiterate again that I should not have put the second deck in place. I found some other things that I've left out. Now most of them don't show, so it's fine. I wish the instructions had been clearer. So now I'm ready to put the railing on. Through the magic of time-lapse photography, I'll show you how I did this. staircases and a lot of the ornamental things, the grating. So I'm getting to the point where I'm proud of what I've made and I'm, I've come to realize that you know this could stick around for many 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 years long after I'm gone. I've come back out in the garage just to give you a better view. So this starts with lowercase a1 and goes to all the way through I think 8 or well I'll, I'll come up to the end in a minute but uh, what you also have to do is clip off I have to stay in there but see I cut that off at an angle and it's 1 and then on both sides 2 3 4 5 and so on on parts a3 and what will be A8. They have to be bent so I'm right now soaking them. You can see they're in the water there, some hot water. And I have my bending tool heating up so I'll get to that in a moment. And it's really just on the end of it. So you can see I got the bend somewhat. It's going to need to be tighter than that.
Let me see if I can't set it in place and put some heat to it. And I'll use super glue on this one and I'm sure that'll help hold it in place. I think that's going to work. I've been using a a mixture super glue in some areas and then just the tacky glue elsewhere now I'll do the same thing on eight This is something I just slowly roll this back and forth. Now it looks like I've got a little piece here I need to sand off some more. It's a little bit of a sharp edge. So let me take care of that real quick. And now. Okay, that's enough of a bend that now I can use a combination of the glues instead of using the uh, material that came with the ship it's kind of a plywood it has three layers and it's not that good a quality and that's what was used you know uh, for this first part but this is going to show. So basically what I'm doing, I've soaked a plank and I've already used my uh, plank bender to get this first bend. And now I'm going to, to bend it so it'll curve over the other direction. So to do that I'll just use what I already have. Trying to get a little bit of an S shape to it. All I have to do is get it close and then the, the glue can hold it in place. So that's going to work rather well. Let me get a close up for you. So now you can see how I got that to bend. And I think once I glue that on then a little bit of sanding it will make the edge end right at the end where it's supposed to. While I'm back here on these lamps uh, obviously I don't like the black plastic look but I will paint these with something to make it look aged so that'll be more towards the end but they are in place now so it is coming along well I have all of the lower section now there'll be some posts that come up to make the upper rail I may have to uh, do some trimming this piece it was number six and I only had one number six for some reason, but it's easy. Again, we're working with wood. I just made a piece and I'll trim it to fit better as it needs to be done. There will need to be one more hole. I'll drill a round hole and then try and square it off as best I can. Or trim the piece, the, the uh, little strut that goes in there, I'll trim it to fit. I think there is an error on the instructions. It says 11A. Well, it should protrude out uh, 0.5 millimeters up to 1 millimeter with the deck's edge, but then it says that 11 or A11 is pasted on top of A12. That has got to be an error because I've seen photos, and this is A11 that goes all the way across, and then A12 is the smaller piece that fits on top. So even though the instructions say A11 goes on top of A12, that cannot be correct. So I put A11 in its place, and then I'll put A12 on top of it. And it's pretty evident in the instructions when you look at some of the photographs that 12 goes on top of 11. Because it's going to be so difficult to work on the bottom of the ship 
as I start building the other side will be too fragile to turn upside down. I'm using tongue oil finish on the, well, probably everywhere. But you just do a liberal amount. I've already done one coat and let it sit. Once you get the application on, and it can be a very liberal amount, let it sit for five to ten minutes, then come back with a lint-free uh, cotton cloth and wipe off any excess, and then you let it dry for 24 hours, and then you come back with that with another lint-free cotton cloth and buff it or polish it out. So we'll let that sit for 24 hours, and then I'll be able to flip it over and resume construction on the deck.